torrential rains which started in July and have continued all the way through October have uh, affected more, more than two million people. These rains which are filling up these rivers are kind of pouring downstream on their way towards the ocean. And the, the impact on, on especially the communities living along the rivers has been you know, devastating. You've got entire fishing communities that have been underwater for over a month. You've got 600,000 people that are on the move, um, either staying in camps or in formal settlements or, or with other host communities, neighbors, acquaintances, everything that they can do uh, to cope with the situation. And the, the impact on, on their ability to, to farm, to fish, uh, to feed themselves uh, is, is tremendous. The impact on livelihoods and, and the long-term impact of, of all these floods is gonna be is significant. Uh, I'm in incredibly proud of the American Red Cross contribution to this operation in support of the Nigerian people. We're working with the Nigerian Red Cross, which has been incredible. They've been involved since day one. They were you know, floating across flooded rivers doing search and rescue. They're providing psychological support, hygiene promotion, you know, helping people try to stay healthy in some of these very, very difficult situations. Not only are we looking at the, their immediate needs, such as food, water, shelter, health, um, psychological support, but we're also looking at what happens when they return to their communities. When that water recedes and they've missed a whole harvest, what's next? And so we're really looking at long-term support as well. We've obviously seen on a great deal of human suffering, and there have been actually over 200 deaths as well, and a tremendous amount of injuries. And there's people that are living in very, very difficult conditions. But we've also seen an incredible strength. We've seen you know, communities helping each other out. We've seen people sharing their meager resources and their meager food with their neighbors. Uh, we've seen the, the strength of the Nigerian Red Cross and the national and local governments and the state governments all coming together. So what you really see is you know, very tough people dealing with a very tough situation in, in an incredible way, a whole community kind of way. I love that about Nigeria.